September 2013, um, Ed had some pretty massive pain in his abdomen and he thought it was kidney stones. So Christy took me to the hospital. I got there, they did some tests and they said, you have stage four inoperable cancer. And the oncologist was in there one morning and Ed had stepped out to use the restroom and he looks at me and he says, you just need to know how serious this is. It took me a minute to process that and I said, wait a minute, what do you mean by that? And he said, well, there's a good chance he'll die from this. All of a sudden I had no job, no income. Christy didn't work. I had four-year-old twin boys. And that was the first time in my life that I turned every single thing over to God, my finances, and my family. You know, I'd prayed to God about things before, but that was the first time I turned every single thing over to Him. Christy had the hard part because she had to take care of me and the boys. And a friend of mine named Lee came to me and said, what can I do for you? And I said, take care of my wife and kids. And so I came here and I sat in the back of the sanctuary, it was dark, and I just wept. And I just wept and wept and wept and God, what does this mean? What are you gonna do? What does this mean for us? And no, you can't take him from me. As God would have it in his perfect order, there was a pastoral staff meeting. And then they took me back to the conference room and they all prayed over me. And it took me a little while to calm down. But um, once I was able to calm down, I just knew at that moment that everything was gonna be okay. From that moment on, I just, I lived one moment at a time. People started coming, bringing food, cleaning the house, <laughs> taking care of our yard, putting up fence, putting up a fort for the kids. We never missed a payment for our house. We did not miss a bill payment. We did not miss a tithe. We did not tap into our savings. We stepped out on total faith in that and God provided for us. I feel like my faith has always been strong. How it's changed me, I wanna tell others, you need to grow in your strength for God because he will take care of you through thick and through thin. He's always there. Good times or bad times, he's always there if you just let him be. He wants to be, but you have to open that door. You have to let him in. And when you let him in your life, truly let him in your life, you're at peace. And I'm at peace. It's a tenth of the size it originally was. It's been stagnant. They've never said the word remission. But um, the doctor has told me that there's a couple new treatments that look very promising to hang in there. So I'm hanging. I'm Ed Sinclair and I have cancer.